peeps, Mimi here, and welcome back to Castle Cats. And today we are gonna open some new kitty eggs. So in the Halloween event, we had already opened all of, you know, the Halloween event eggs, which, you know, I did a video and said it was all the eggs, but now there's more eggs. And now we have the clown egg, which is, you know, says, you know, use Halloween materials to create a new hero. Clowns are fun, right? I don't know. So we do have enough material to do it because I bought materials. Yes, I bought materials. That's how I was able to get all the materials. And now we're gonna push this button. It's gonna cost us 20 gems to be able to open it. So we will open it. And now we will clean it. Who's in the box? Who's in the box? I don't know. Let's find out. Bill. Oh, okay. He has perspective and he is charming. Let's find out some more about Bill. Because Bill, who you be? Recent. Recent? Ah, click. His trait is 15% gold reward on all quests. Oh my gosh, that's creepy. This just reminds me of this drawing somebody did of Dan Bear as a scary clown. It was just so creepy. Oh my gosh. He's kind of scary. It's like those piercing eyes. Well, let's find out more about Bill. I like Bill. How you doing? How's the weather? If we can find you. Who are you? Here's Bill. What are you talking about? Why would anyone be scared of clowns? Really? Why, you know, why would we anyone be scared of clowns? Okay, so now let's open the next egg so we can get on with things. Nya -nya -nya. And let's see, let's go and open this bit, yeah, this little egg. Now we get the doll egg. Use materials and includes a wind-up key. Hmm. Okay. And again, we're gonna use two uh, twenty gems to open this. And yes, um, I do want to call out that the clown egg required four hundred and fifty materials of each, while the doll egg required six hundred of each. So the doll egg is the one that's more expensive. So let's claim it. And let's see what's in it. Anna. She has some interesting design here. And she is crafty and she is um, a jumpy kitty. I forget what I call the jumpy kitties. So let's, let's find out more about Anna. Let's change to recent. Anna, and her trait is sets great success chance to 75%. Oh, this is, you know, I think um, Persis, uh, the kitty, she has this same ability. And just remember, whenever you use a kitty like Anna that sets the great success chance to 75, even if you add another kitty to the mix, it will not increase that success chance. Now let's see how she looks. Oh, look at her hair. Did a piece of her hair just disappear? Like I swear. Let's do that again. Yes, look, look, at, look at her hair, and her ear. Like it had disappeared. Look, it disappeared. Oh my gosh. That is kind of creepy. Her, her ear. Oh my gosh. Um, I'm sure that's just a glitch. That's just a glitch. 
Um, and let's go to see her bio. Here's Anna. If you wind her up, Anna will do a little dance for you. Oh. I don't know where we get this kitty. But this is um, the Night Queen. Very interesting. Will they be releasing another kitty for us? Interesting. Um, and actually, I want to show you all how what I mean about them success chance. So if you go to Crafty, we can find our new kitty, Anna. And... It says it's 75, but it's at 1. Oh. Oh, sorry. It's because I haven't unlocked her trait. But um, I can show you this with um, Persis. Persis has that same trait, which says set for, um, great success chance to 75. And you can see that she set it to 75. But if I add more kitties with the appropriate traits, it does not change the great success. So basically, it's a help if you don't have enough to be able to get to 75. It's just if you're under it that it's an issue. I mean, if you're under 75%, she helps you out by taking you to 75%. That way you have more of a chance to be able to complete this mission with great success. But if you don't, I mean, if you have more than 75, you just won't be able to get more success. So like right here, we would probably end up with more. So if we change her and put Barry instead. Oh, we're still at fifth, we are fifth three, so. Oh, it's because Scarlet's low leveled. So let's throw somebody with a higher level. It's like, you know, this is a perfect example. Depending on what you're putting in, your success chance, it, I mean, we, you know, increases based on, you know, the level of the kitties and the skills that they possess. So like right here, if we had, you know, changed Luna for Persis instead, or, well, Francine, you see that's 83. But if we change Francine and put in Persis, you'll see that it dips to 75. And that's nothing against Persis, it's just because, you know, that's how Persis skill works. So it's great for, you know, lower level kitties that can't get to that 75%. But, you know, you use it as you, as you need it. You know, don't always force yourself to go that route. Also, so, you know, that has been us opening the two eggs that we got for the new Halloween event. I think I'm actually going to... Oh, that's a super lion. Sorry. I, I mentioned that I didn't know how to get the lion, but it is one of the other kitties that was added through the limited time deals here. And I have not bought Jorgen or Rose or Silver. Well, because I didn't know Silver was there. But I am actually going to go ahead and get the Night Queen because I love her color scheme. It is going to take me low on gems, but that's going to be okay, I think. Hmm. Do I want to use my gems here? I do. She's so pretty. Because look at her wings. They're just so adorable. What's her skill? Increases the chance to get rare loot during battles. Oh. I wonder if that means in specific, like um, even if you don't go into the quest, like to tap through, will you actually still get, you know, rare stuff? So I'm going to get her because this is a new skill that I have not seen on any other kitty, so it is worth it to me. The Night Queen. Oh, look at her at the base. Okay, so let's go look at her recent Night Queen. I just love her color scheme. Oh, she gets her wings on the first one. I, I can't do it right now because I'm saving up for Chroma. I gotta save. And let's go look what her book entry says. The Night Queen. Her trait, Ninja Looter, increases a chance to get rare loot during battles. Don't be scared if you meet the Night Queen in your dreams. She only she only appears to help you get through your nightmares. Oh, 
and she is a mythic kitty with a pumpkin on her because it is because of Halloween. <laughs> and I just realized I said is twice in there, which is odd. But this, you know, I really like what they've done here with some of the changes and, you know, listening to the fans that we wanted more out of the Halloween event because they set the bar so high and it is a very long event. So I actually wouldn't mind if the events were shorter, um, but I understand it's also, it would be very difficult to keep getting content over and over again uh, because it puts a lot of stress into developers' times. But I love that they've continued to make increments to this game and just keep making it better. So thank you Paka for doing that. I really appreciate that and that you continue to, to progress in this game in so many ways. And you know, for all this playing, let me know what's your favorite part about Castle Cats and let me know what you want to see next in Castle Cats. Thank you all so very much for watching and until next time, meow meow.